Um, my name is Florence Kangede, a wildlife veterinarian currently working at Old Pejeta Conservancy that is in Laikipia, here in Kenya. I am truly grateful and really, this is such a humbling experience to know that the dedication that I put towards my career and how I have interacted with people through this um, has brought about an impact. It goes to show that the small things that I am doing, the small um, actions and uh, activities are going uh, towards uh, influencing um, many. I think when people think about veterinarians, they think about mainly small animals and uh, large animals like cows. But when you bring up the wildlife uh, aspect, many don't know that they are actual wildlife vets. So I think that's a, one unique part of it. And secondly, being a female, um, we have quite a few number of females in the field right now, but it's growing slowly as we are seeing interest from students in campus um, who want to come into this field and are asking, how do we do it? How do you cope with it? Uh, what is it like for you as a female vet? And how have you overcome the challenges to be where you are currently? A brief about your work and how your day looks service to the community. Um, as a wildlife vet, um, it's quite a very dynamic uh, sort of, of career, <laughs> to say the least. Um, the day starts early in the morning where you have to go and check up on the semi-captive animals that we have within the conservancy. So that's the chimpanzees that we have here. Uh, we have captive rhinos as well. And then it can go into anything. Um, you can come back to the office, do admin work, and in the middle of it have to attend to a case where you're being called for a wildlife intervention. Um, you can be called to participate in community outreach uh, through the CDP team that we have here, where you go and speak to students um, from secondary schools and primary schools and just let them know about this career as an option. So it's very varying. Um, sometimes you'd think that you have a peaceful night, but you're called in the middle of the night to attend to an animal that is in need. So it's a very dynamic and um, interesting field to be in. Mm. What has been your major impact and contribution to the society so far? Um, I'm very passionate about mentorship. And in the Conservancy, we have programs where we work with high school students and university students. So what we do is share career opportunities and um, give a breakdown of what being a vet is like to the high school students. And in university students, we give them an opportunity to come and train under us where they get to learn what being a wildlife vet is about. Um, aside from that, I have also worked with the biorescue team. This is a group of scientists uh, from all over the world that are working towards the de-extinction of the northern white rhino. Uh, and I think those networking um, opportunities have been very essential in growing um, myself as a vet, but also getting the message out there in Kenya. Um, we, I have also worked with the Kenyan Wildlife Service uh, towards um, population uh, of wild animals in Kenya. Um, in specific the Rhino Action Plan, where we have done translocations and also notching within the conservancy towards a better management of the species and also to increase the growth in the country. Um, also working with primates is such a joy. Um, we only have one population of chimpanzees in Kenya that's found here at Old Pejeta Conservancy and I think uh, being able to advocate for them through my treatments and sharing information about them with people and students is um, really a great uh, achievement. Um, I'm a product of society in that the person I am today um, was influenced greatly from a young age through my parents, through the friends I interacted with, teachers in school, um, the vets that I met in the field and just that whole mix made me become who I am and I'm hoping that through this story, sharing this story, that many can also hear my part of it and also become great uh,
people in society.